With each new Galaxy smartphone, Samsung adds better specs, a bigger battery, and even more features. But the company took it one step further with the Galaxy S5, adding a new advanced battery saving mode. I'm Dan Graziano and I'm going to show you how you can get incredible battery life on your Galaxy S5. Most Android devices available today have some sort of battery saving features. The Galaxy S5 includes two modes, power saving mode and ultra power saving mode. Power saving mode is nothing new. In fact, the feature has been around since the Galaxy S2. When enabled, this mode can be used to block background app data, limit the phone's performance, reduce the screen's frame rate, lower the phone's brightness, and even change the display to grayscale. It should greatly enhance your battery life, but just remember to disable it when you're getting ready to play a game. This feature can be found in the Galaxy S5 settings by clicking on the power saving mode option. In this menu, you will also find the new ultra power saving mode. Samsung claims that this feature will give you just under two weeks of battery life when fully charged. Yes, 12 and a half days of battery life. If you enable this mode with only 10% of battery life, your phone is capable of staying alive for the next 24 hours. There are some downsides, however. Ultra power saving mode will greatly reduce your phone's capabilities. In addition to changing your display to grayscale, you will be limited to only select apps, six of which can be placed on your home screen. The mode will also automatically disable mobile data when the screen is turned off and disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. However, both of these can be re-enabled in the settings menu by clicking the three dot icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Of course, there are also other ways you can get the most out of your battery, such as changing the GPS to power saving mode, disabling location reporting, and reducing your screen's brightness. For more information and to check out my full article, head over to howto.cnet.com. As always, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments, or even to share some of your own battery saving tips. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.